Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Adam. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick review of two different products. Uh, the first one is this four-way wedge. This is the wedge that came with the 25-yard max log splitter that I bought. And the other product is this fuel pump. This was about $25 or $35 on Amazon, and I'm not exactly sure. I'll put a link in the description. Um, so we're going to test both of those out today. I have about a quart of firewood that needs to be split, so we'll be able to give a good test of this uh, four-way wedge and it's just an absolutely perfect day to be splitting firewood today it's about 25 degrees everything's frozen up there's no mud there's no mess it's gonna be great stick around all right so this thing is super easy to use and uh, it makes fueling so much easier. Um, if you're dealing with these five gallon gas cans, they're 40 pounds, whatever, they're not terribly heavy, but they're heavy enough that for me to try to get that in there, I'd either need a funnel or I'm gonna end up spilling gas all over the place. This just makes it so much easier. So all you do is stick this end down here, stick this end in here, and it runs on uh, two AA batteries, and then this switch right here, on off, and now we're filling and it has an automatic shutoff sensor so when it's full it'll uh, start beeping and i guess right now it's saying it's full there we go i just had uh i had it down in there too far All right, so this four-way wedge here, it's pretty simple to put on and take off. Um, it just slides right down over the original wedge head, and then there's a nut on the back that you tighten up with some kind of wrench. But to put it on, slides right down over. Now you want that to be really tight because this thing has some serious force and if it's not tight enough, this thing will actually pop right up off. All right, so out of the two things we said we were gonna talk about today, um, I really like one of them. The other one, I'm kind of eh about. Um, this four-way wedge, I'd probably give it a three-star review. I don't know. 
it does what it says it's going to do it splits things four ways but it's almost kind of more screwing around than what it's worth um, about halfway through we did switch back just to the regular wedge um, you get a lot of uh, logs and splits that get stuck on the bottom side because they're wedged between this crossbar and the, the splitter guide um, and then you also end up with a lot more debris and kindling which you know it's not bad to have some extra kindling laying around to get your fires going and stuff but it just makes way too much of it um, I think you can just do a better job with with the splitting wedge the way it is um, it's easier to get the pieces of wood the exact size you want um, as far as this thing this thing is awesome this thing I would give a five-star review no doubt um, I mean it just makes refueling between the the side by side the log splitter um, it does I think it it pumps at about three gallons per minute might be two and a half um, but for for refueling all those things that have some bigger tanks it makes it so much easier the lawnmower um, I probably wouldn't use it on the chainsaw just because it's too small of a tank and this thing pumps too fast um, but I would definitely recommend this thing I might put a link to this in the description below and for Amazon but uh, oh yeah I forgot to mention all that wood that we just split it was probably two pickup truck loads full it was probably almost a full quart of wood because we had we had my Tacoma loaded up pretty pretty heavy um, but yeah if you heat with wood definitely you know let people know you heat with wood people are dying to get rid of trees that fall down in their front yard and they're they're way easier to get than going back in the woods you're not fighting with you know pricker bushes and weeds and and mud and all that stuff the two two maple trees and one cherry tree we got uh, they were all five feet off a driveway so um, but anyway if you like videos like this uh, please hit subscribe comment below let me know if you've used a four-way wedge or maybe I'm just using it wrong maybe there's there's a way to make it more efficient um, but yeah like the video please and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching